Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to help the channel grow and keep up to date with our latest videos. Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. Today we're looking at Power to Make Desktop Actions and we're looking at the Subtract Lists action. So, what is the Subtract Lists action? Well, it finds items that belong to one list that do not belong to another. Okay, so that means we're essentially comparing two lists and we find the differences. And then we end up with a list of the differences. Now, we're going to be looking at the create list action as well, that creates a placeholder variable for a list. And um, essentially, we're going to have to add the items after. So we're going to be looking at the add item to list action as well. And this adds an item to the previously created list. Now, this isn't going into detail about these two actions. There is a video on my YouTube channel about this. So if you want to learn more about the creating a list and adding items to a list, I suggest you check out that video. Okay, so the subtract lists. What do we need to do when we firstly add it to our Power Automate desktop? Well, when we add the action to there, you're going to see something that looks like this. You're going to be able to select the initial first list that you want to, the comparison to be against, as well as you want to select the second list that's going to be compared to. And what's going to happen then is we're going to get a variable produced, which is essentially another list, but it's going to just be the differences between the two lists. Now, it's important to remember these little curly braces with the X there because you'll be able to easily select your lists from the drop down menu rather than having to type the percent name and percent in so that will save you some time. What's also important to remember is that your main list needs to be the first list and the comparison list needs to be the second and we'll get into more details about that momentarily. So let's jump over to Power Automate Desktop and take a look at how this works. Okay, so I'm on Power Automate Desktop. I've got a uh, Power Automate Desktop flow created and essentially what I'm going to be doing is opening up the variable section and I'm going to first create a new list. So I'm going to select the create a new list action and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to list the name of this as list one capitals just to make it easy to understand then I'm going to add an item to this list so we're going to add Joe and then we're going to use the little uh, squiggly braces with the X so you can see that the list one is there so we select that and it auto populates it for you so essentially here we're adding Joe to a list now rather than clicking add uh, item to the list and then writing it and selecting the list again all I'm going to do is control C to copy that and I'm just going to paste it twice. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open one of these. I'm going to change that to Jax. And then I'm going to change the last one to Meg. Okay. So what have we done so far? We've created a new list called list one. And we've added Joe to list one, Jax to list one, and Meg to list one. So when this runs, we're going to have a list called list one with Joe, Jax, and Meg in it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to create a new list, our second list. So I'm going to call it list two. And then I'm going to add items to it. Now, for the purpose of this, I'm going to add Joe and Jax to the list. So again, I'm pressing the squiggly X and I'm going to select list two this time. And I'm going to do the control C thing that we just did, the control C, control V, so just essentially copying and just add Jax. Okay, so now we've got list one being created and three names being added, Joe, Jax and Meg. Then we've got a second list, um, which will be our comparison list, which is called list two, and we've got Joe and Jax. So the difference here is Meg. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the subtract lists action, which we um, are all here for. So I'm going to use the select variable and I'm going to pass in list one. 
and then I'm going to use select variable again on the second list and pass in list two. Okay, so if I hit save, you see here it gives you an easily understandable way of knowing what the outcome is going to be. So you find items that belong in list one, but not in list two, and then you store as a new list. So essentially we find the items here, Joe and Jacks, and in list two, we've got Joe and Jacks, but because Meg doesn't belong in list two, it's going to be in the list difference. So if we reverse this, we would get nothing back because it would say, okay, does Joe and Jax exist in list one? It does. Meg doesn't, but we are ignoring that because we're not trying to find the, um, the one that's not there essentially in list two at the moment. We're trying to find the differences in list one. So it's very important how you structure the subtract lists um, action. You need to make sure that the one that you're actually going to be using as your base is the initial first list. Okay, so let's run this through and see what we've got. What I'll do is I'll run through in each step just so we can walk through and see how this actually works then. Okay, so if I do run next action, we have created our list. Now we are adding Joe, we are adding Jax, and we are adding Meg. If you look over to the right hand side, you can see we've got Joe, Jax, and Meg. So I do run the next action. So we've created our list now, list two, and we have added Joe and Jax. So if I just take your gaze over to the right hand side, we've got Joe, Jax, and Meg on list one, and we've got Joe and Jax in list two. So the list differences then is going to compare these essentially list one is the base and it's going to say okay in list two take all of these items and compare it to list one so joe is there Jax is there meg isn't so because of our first list in our subtract list we're going to say okay well meg doesn't exist so we're going to store that in a new list so what we're expecting now is when i click run action um we have Meg. So you can see here that we have captured the resulting differences between list one and list two by essentially comparing them both and then passing any differences in the initial list, the first list, into a list difference and we have Meg. So what I'll do then is I'll just add another one here just for an example. So if I add Sarah and in here, what I'll do is I'll add um, a different name. So I'll just say Bob. So let's see what happens when we run this through then, because Meg and Sarah don't exist in list two, but list two has one that doesn't exist in list one. So let's hit run. Okay, so you can see here on the right hand side, we've got Joe, Jax, Meg and Sarah in this one. And our comparison list, list two, has got Joe, Jax and Bob. So Joe, that basically cancels each other out because they both exist. Jax cancels each other out because it, they both exist. But Bob doesn't exist in this one, so it gets ignored. Meg and Sarah do exist in this one, but do not exist in list two. So they get captured in the list difference. And that is how you use subtract lists on Power Automate Desktop. Thanks for watching another video by me, Flo Joe. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button or select a video on your screen right now to continue learning more about the Power Platform.